Hi, I'm Rashida Hallbrook. I am originally from Chicago. I came to Tallahassee in 2006 for undergrad. I went to FAMU. I majored in psychology with a minor in biology. Um, I went on to get a master's degree in molecular biology from FAMU because I thought that I wanted to explore um, neuroscience, uh, neuroanatomy, but ultimately I was interested in understanding how genes and environments influence uh, different outcomes, behavior, and achievement. I'm currently working on my PhD. I'm a doctoral candidate, and my dissertation is going to look at um, racial and ethnic biases and standardized assessments and teacher reports of student achievement. I got into developmental psychology because I've always been interested in all of the different ways that um, we develop, what influences our outcomes, what influences different individuals who might grow up in the same context to have such drastically different life, um, life styles and <laughs> life outcomes. And so by studying developmental psychology, I can explore all of the different mechanisms that influence those things. So I study um, learning and achievement in a general sense, and many of the different factors I look at include things like the environment, so the home environment or neighborhood environment or larger context and how those things influence how children are performing in school and how much their environments or their genetic potential influences their achievement outcomes. So from our research, we're able to get information on specifically environmental influences, but how we might be able to manipulate the environment to support students um, across the spectrum of learning abilities, including children with learning disabilities. So in the process of getting my PhD, I've had the opportunity to teach in the department and I've taught a few different courses on child psychology and on psychology of the African American, which has been such a rich experience because it's allowed me to interact with undergrads um, and students who are excited to learn about the different things that we know about in the area. So having that intimate interaction with those students has been probably one of the best experiences that I've had uh, being in the program. After graduating, once I get my PhD, I plan to go on to um, stay in academia and uh, pursue positions where I would primarily be lecturing or mentoring students, but also be able to engage in research with them. 